Did you bring me a letter? Oh, I got a letter from Mama. She wanted you to hear all the news. I can't wait. It's been months since I've heard she of it. She wrote in longhand, you know. Did she? Oh, she's got a hand this long. <laughs> That's the first fat one. That's the one of the bit. Now, you can't read Oh, I won't look. I won't look. She says, Dear Peyton, Mom always wanted me to have my own place. <laughs> you like it? Oh, I love it. Things are fine in Mount Ida, she goes on. Yeah. And on and on. Um, Leonard Fox has quit his job at the Eagle Laundry. Who? Leonard Fox. Oh, yeah. You remember Leonard? Oh, yes. Little bitty fellow. Yeah. Had a very small head. Did he? Yeah. I don't know why, but he did. He's quit his job at the Eagle Laundry. He says there's no future in washing eagles. <laughs> yeah, hello, Robbie. How are you? How'd you get home the other night? Just lay there all night. <laughs> However, he got another job the same day Leonard did. Good. He started to work at the Mount Ida Massage Parlor. But the manager fired him at the end of the first day. What he Seems do? he kept rubbing people the wrong way. <laughs> Not funny, but very quaint. <laughs> Ludlow Bean came over to our oh. house. Ludlow Bean. Ludlow Bean. You remember Ludlow? Yeah. Is he related to Box? No, I don't believe so. Oh. No, he's related to Bean, I guess. He came to our house last night. He was limping something terrible. He told us that the night before he was stiff in six joints. Your father told him he ought to keep out of those joints. <laughs> yeah, that's an old word. I don't know what show Mama's been watching. I don't know. <laughs> Your father told... Oh, I did that. Yeah. Grandma... <laughs> don't repeat it. <laughs> no, I better not. <laughs> Grandma Og is still trying to get Grandpa to shave off his beard. Yeah. Oh, he's got a terrible beard, you know. It's so long, it's always getting him into trouble. Like last week, he was running for a streetcar... And he ran right up his beard and kicked all of his teeth out. <laughs> they weren't even paid for yet. Uh, his beard is so big and bushy that Grandma has to kiss him through a straw. <laughs> Think about that for a minute. Your father and I ran into Elsie Crack yesterday. Remember Elsie? Yes. Little That's bitty. Leonard Box's sister. A little bitty woman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tiny little bit. Got this beautiful red hair growing way down her back. Yeah. None on her head, but all this. This is what we've had. Bean, Box, uh, what? Crack, and... Uh, There's more coming. Oh, what's there more? Let's <laughs> yeah. see. Oh, my, but that girl is ugly, she says. She just can't get a man. She's been stood up more times than a bowling pin. <laughs> And turned down more times than a bedspread. That's enough of that. <laughs> One more strike and out. We told her she ought to send her picture to the Lonely Hearts Club. And she said she did send her picture to the Lonely Hearts Club, but they sent it back. They said they weren't that lonely. <laughs> well, she's a horrible looking one. Yeah. I love her. Well, son, I must close now and go help your father. He's in the hospital again. Oh, Poor dad. No. He is suffering from 108 lacerations, 99 contusions, 87 bumps, and 52 nasty bruises. It seems he took a full swing on a golf ball in a tile bathroom. <laughs> Naked. Yes. Love, Mama, and just in time. Love, Mama. <laughs>